So today, once again, I want to talk about the Clutch Chess Tournament International, the online tournament with a record prize fund of $265,000. So on, this is day two of the semifinals. It pits uh, Magnus Carlsen against Levon Aronian in one semifinal and Wesley So against Fabiano Caruana in the other one. And as you know, Carlsen and So came out of yesterday, uh, round one of the semifinals, each ahead six points to two. So Aronian and Caruana, uh, their backs were to the wall. They had to come out swinging. Well, unfortunately, only one, one of those guys uh, came out swinging. And that was Caruana, and he actually won the match because he won the second semifinal day two and got enough points and won by one point against Wesley So. Aronian got demolished by Carlson. So let's quickly talk about the Carlson Aronian games. Uh, in game one uh, today, second semifinal, uh, Aronian looked like he was going to win. He was in a very strong position. Carlson's king was on the queen side. Uh, more or less exposed, uh, doubled up pawns, weak pawn structure, uh, disjointed, etc., etc. Ronian's pieces all seem to be together, ready to launch an attack, but he never quite launched the attack. And Carlson held him off, held him off, and then got it turned around and won the game. And the announcers were shocked, and Aronian obviously was shocked. And But you know what? It seemed to affect him the rest of the games. He was never really in it. Uh, but he did uh, make a draw or two enough so that when they went into the clutch games, which are the last two rounds of a semifinal, today each game is worth three points. If he wins both those clutch games today, it's tied. It goes to Armageddon. Well, the truth is, in that first clutch game today, Aronian uh, held it firm with Carlson. It was pretty much even. Carlson didn't have a huge advantage, but it seemed at one point... Aronian just seemed like he gave up and forced a draw, and that's it. He's out of the tournament. It's like he didn't just gave up. I don't know how else to say it. The announcers were perplexed. He should be fighting and making moves, but he did today a lot of what he did yesterday. He played very passively. In other words, the announcers said it, and I'll say it here. I guess I'll paraphrase what they're saying, but it's what he did. He played not to lose. It's like he was intimidated by Carlson and afraid to make bold moves because he's afraid Carlson find a way to come back. He was intimidated. Basically, he was intimidated and, and played passively and played not to lose, including that first clutch game. And it's it was a game where if you draw or lose, you're out. So, but he intentionally took the draw, caused the draw. I I don't quite frankly get it. Should be fighting to the chess is a competitive game. He should be fighting to the bitter end. Anyways, but that's why Carlson's a champ, because he doesn't play not to lose. He plays to win. He's got Kasparov and Fisher instincts in him. He's out to get you, uh, and he's not happy until he does. Even in that clutch game, when it looked like, oh, Carlson just take the draw, he didn't. He tried to win it, and then Aronian forced the draw. So, but I just, it just, his fighting spirit was not there, and... The comment, commentator said that, you know, that first game, it looked promising, but he never quite recovered from that first game. And, and these tournaments, I mean, this it's it's six games today. You got to throw that first one away. And if you have to win the last two, that second to last one were three points, you should be going all out. Uh, yeah, you, I've seen one time when I worked as a vendor at the Mets Sports, uh, Mets Stadium, where the Twins were playing, and I was a vendor, and I left. After the seventh inning, I was done selling. I didn't want to stay for the game. The Twins were down like 11-3. to three. Guess what? In the eighth and ninth innings, by the time I got home, they turned it around, tied it, and then won it in extra innings. So that's why you don't quit. And chess is that way. You don't quit. <clears throat> Let's go down on to the second game, Carolina and So. In the first game, So it was a strong, had a pretty strong position against Carolina, feeling confident, making good moves. But somehow Carolina turned it around and won that game. And that set so back. Uh, he thought at a minimum it would have been a draw. I mean, remember, he has a 6-2 lead. So draws play in his favor, not Carolina. Carolina is the one under pressure. Well, those first four games, Carolina won three, lost one. And then, uh, let's see, they drew. 
yeah, they drew the next couple of games. Those clutch games, they drew them both. And uh, actually, no, uh, Fabiano Carano won the first clutch game. So he went from being down two to up by one. And you just have to draw the last game, and that's what he did. But again, what's bothering me here is in that, that last clutch game, uh, the sixth game of today's semifinal between them two, if so wins it, he wins the match. If it's a draw or he loses, draw goes to Carolina because of the scoring system. So gave up. I mean, he literally gave up, which the announcers couldn't believe. It was an equal position, I thought, at best, and so did the announcers, and he just quit. And they asked him afterwards in the interview, why did you take the draw on purpose? He said, well, this just wasn't my day. Carolina was the better player today. I just like, enough is enough. Well, I, it perplexes me. If you win, it doesn't matter if he played great all day, which he did, but why let him psych you out that way? Why give in? Fight to the bitter end. Things can happen, especially in a 10-minute game. It's a 10-minute, five-second increment rapid game. Anything can happen. But to just lay down your pieces and quit and walk away and say, well, he's better than me today. And when you win and you're in the finals, I again, I don't get it. Both Aronian and so did the same thing. And I, I don't get it. These are super GMs. Maybe they're fatigued. I understand a little bit more about Aronian. His wife died recently. That might still be on his mind. I know how that goes when someone close to you passes away. But in chess, you got to fight to the bitter end, and that's what Carlson does all the time in Carolina. I guess that's why they're number one and two in the world. So I don't know about you, but I look forward to the finals tomorrow and the day after. It should be exciting. You've got two players that don't give up. One was way down and just dug in and did it bit by bit and came back, and the other one had a big lead and poured it on. So we know they're not going to quit. They're going to go to the bitter end. Remember back in 2018, they uh, played for their world championship. And after 12 classical games, it was even. And then Carlson took it in the rapids. So, And by this time, uh, Carolina is better at rapids. He plays more online, and uh, he's better at the speed, speed chess. So, yeah, should be exciting. We'll, so I guess we'll see you tomorrow. And over and out, and that's Sports Blab.